We are all devastated by the news that we have just heard from Balmoral. The death of Her Majesty the Queen is a huge shock to the nation and to the world. And England and the world mourning the loss tonight of Queen Elizabeth II at the age of 96. Good evening, everyone. I'm Josh Benson. And I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. Britain's new prime minister says the Queen was the rock on which modern Britain was built, and the country is a world leader today because of her. This evening, Brits now living in Tampa are remembering their monarch and her legacy. News Channel 8's Justin Shecker joins us live from Mad Dogs and Englishman Pub in Tampa with more. Hi, Justin. Hey, Josh and Jen, the BBC has been on the TV here all day as the staff and patrons learn the sad news from across the pond. The owner tells me this really is the end of an era and Queen Elizabeth II is an impossible act to follow. She managed to, you know, set an example for the world and, and I think there's, we're not going to see the like of her again. Queen Elizabeth II's picture is prominently displayed at Mad Dogs and Englishmen. The British pub Wilton Morley has owned in South Tampa since 1991. She's been very much part of my life, and she was an extraordinary woman. Morley was born in 1952, the same year Queen Elizabeth ascended to the throne. He still recalls the one time he met the Queen when he was 21 years old at a theater opening. And we'd arrange for some opera singers to stand on the stage when she greeted, she and Philip got up and greeted them, and then when she got to the last opera singer, she said, are you about to burst into song? And the woman said, uh, yes, we are. And she said, well, just give us a minute to get clear, which I thought was very funny. She had a wonderful sense of humor. During her reign as the longest living and longest serving British monarch, Morley says Queen Elizabeth managed to not take sides as she dealt with 15 different British prime ministers. She's remained apolitical all her life. Whether or not Charles can remain apolitical is, is another thing. Buckingham Palace announced Queen Elizabeth passed away peacefully Thursday afternoon, surrounded by members of the royal family at her Scottish residence. I think everybody will remember where they were today. Um, it's, it's a huge upheaval for the British people, or even though, you know, it's, it's been anticipated. And tonight, the owner tells me there'll be a champagne toast here at Mad Dogs and Englishmen in honor of Queen Elizabeth II. We're live in South Tampa. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.